This week it's the turn of Mover, the all new feature in Microsoft 365 to help you, well, move stuff. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP and Microsoft Certified Trainer. My apologies, by the way, we're in the midst of doing some work on our property. So uh, my videos might be a little bit sporadic, but I will do my best for you. All right. This week, and it's a, it's a direct request from one of you guys, uh, was Andy, can you cover Mover? Well, I thought, no, that's quite a good idea. Mover now comes part of Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft 365, whatever you want to call it. Um, for a long time, moving stuff in and out of Microsoft products was quite tricky to say the least. Um, well, with their acquisition of Mover last year, or rather in 2019, um, things have really opened up. So you can migrate essentially from any cloud product into Microsoft Office 365. And it's a cinch, it really is. So um, just a quick reminder, by the way, if you've not subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and please help me grow my channel. So are we ready to learn? Let's have a look at the demo. So in this demo, I'm going to demonstrate Mover. Now, for starters, I'm currently logged into my OneDrive, and this is just my personal OneDrive. Please note the demo I'm about to give you can be used on a number of different cloud platforms. So whether you've got Google Drive, um, any of these, any of them will do at all. And you can see here, I've got a folder called Demo, and I've just put some presentations and things in here. So that's the first step. That's where they're coming from. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to flip over into my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And you can see I'm currently logged on as Megan here. Now, Megan is an administrator, and she's going to be responsible for moving some files into the cloud. All right. So um, to get things started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down into SharePoint here. And in the SharePoint Admin Center, we have this migration area. Now, in the migration area, you can migrate any kind of file into Microsoft 365 super easy. So, for example, if you've got file shares, um, if you've got a file server on premises and you want to bring them over, absolutely great. We've also got other cloud technologies, including Box and Dropbox and also things like Google Workspaces, you can bring those in, as well as things like SharePoint servers on premises. So you can see at the moment, it supports 2010, 2013, and 2016 uh, servers. Now, if you're using a cloud environment, traditionally, you would have had to use third-party tools like ShareGate, for example. Well, one of the nice things is that Microsoft has recently acquired Mover, and this is an awesome tool if you've never used it. Now, in this screen, you can see that all of that link does is it takes you to the Mover.io website, and this has not been moved over to Microsoft. Now, as time progresses, as with most Microsoft acquisitions, you'll start to see this integrate more um, into 365 and it will begin to look more like Microsoft 365. Now in here you can also find all the guides that you need. So this is your step-by-step -step guide, it tells you exactly how uh, everything works. And in uh, you've also got details on the various connectors themselves here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Uh, I'm already logged in as an administrator and you can see it just uh, simply just passes me straight through. Now, honestly, Mover couldn't be any simpler than this. You simply select where it's coming from and then you choose where it's going to. So for me, um, I'm going to select my uh, or a OneDrive consumer. All right. So this is a OneDrive consumer. I'm going to authorize this account. 
Okay, so I'm just going to sign in. So I've got a number of files here, and these are just presentations. And so we can see that we've now got the first uh, connector in. And this is coming from my OneDrive personal. So what I want to do is I'm going to now authorize a new connector. And it's saying, where do you want it to go? And in this case, I'm going to choose my OneDrive for business. So I'll choose my OneDrive for business and it will prompt me again for my credentials. And I'm currently logged in as Megan, who's an administrator. Put in the username and password and again, click next. All right, so now it says, okay, this is where it's coming from. And where do I want this to go? So I've got a, again, a little folder here called demo. And you can see the folder is empty and I'm going to start copying this content. And you can see simply one, two, three. It really couldn't be any simpler. So the job is loaded. So here's uh, just the job that's been loaded. Again, it also shows any previous jobs that you may have run. And I'm going to say, yep, yeah, I want to run this job. So now it will just go off and it will, sorry, that one's finished, this one. Uh, you can see that the job is actually running. So the job is running at the moment. How many files have been completed? And it tells me if there's any failures and how much uh, space that those documents have taken up. Okay. So it looks pretty good at the moment. That job is still running. So we'll just give it a second to run. And there we go. All right. Now, other things that we've got here, you've got some user actions. So there is a log file. So if you, know, if you do have any issues, you can download that uh, log file. There's also a, a migration note that you can add to it. And the other thing that you can also do is schedule the transfer. So you don't need to do the schedule uh, right away. Um, you can manage the tags. So for example, you can tag certain files if you wanted to. And you can also scan the transfer before you transfer it. And this just checks to see if there are any anomalies. So for example, you know, oversized files, long file names, and so on. Um, so I can scan the transfer. And if, they, if you do have a problem, of course, you can always rerun that scan. And that's, to be honest, that's pretty much it. Now, the other thing that you can go, you can also change the view. So, of course, at the moment, this is just a comfortable view. Um, there is a copy view. There is a compact view. And there is a grid line view. All right. So you can just customize those. Um, you can switch off the statistics if you've not bothered about that. Uh, and again, you can reorder the columns and it gives you details if there's any files skipped or anything, any kind of issues like that. All right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, um, is Mover. And if we just head back to my 365, uh, I will just head into here and I suppose we should just open it up and just have a quick look. So I'm just going to go into my OneDrive here. So just go into Megan's account. And you can see we've now got a folder called demo. And in here we have. So here's all my files. And it's been a successful migration. Thank you very much. There you have it. Wasn't that really cool? That's Mover, which now comes part of Microsoft 365. I hope you found it useful and that you got something out of that session. Do remember, go ahead, click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you won't miss any future postings. Okay. Um, of course, just before I leave you, I wanted to just give a request for you guys. Please put in the comments any sessions that you would like me to cover in the future. I'm currently planning uh, my uh, next batch of trading sessions. So if there's anything that you're really interested in, anything you want me to cover, go ahead and let me know. In the meantime, you stay safe and I'll see you next time. Take care, folks. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button and ring that bell 
and you won't miss a thing. See you next time.